Good morning, October 24th, 2021. I'm Vincent Walker, Superintendent of Emmanuel Amy Sunday School, where Reverend John L. Dees Jr. is our pastor. The subject today, the joy of worship, the joy of worship. <clears throat> and the key verse is, no, I'm sorry, the lesson scripture is in Psalm 84 and the focus scripture is the same. The key verse is verse four of Psalm 84. Happy are those who live in your house, ever singing your praise. Happy are those who live in your house. Happy are those who live in God's house. That's the joy of worship. When you're in God's house, you're happy. Even when you're going through things, if you're in a place of worship, if you can get to a place of worship and you're worshiping with like-minded people, even though that thing may still be on you once you leave out of there, God's work, the place of worship and God's Holy Spirit raining down on you, that changes something about your situation. It changes something about you. It, it lifts you. It gives you joy. It gives you peace. It gives you hope. Worshiping God, as I always said, worshiping God is a direct attack against the enemy. Worshiping God makes the enemy mad. Worshiping God let the, lets the enemy know that you are trusting in God and not trusting in him. Worshiping God lets the enemy know that even when he's giving you his best shot, you're still going to worship and praise the one who gives you life. You're going to worship the one who has the power over life and death. So there's joy in that. At the name of Jesus, the enemy flees. So when you worship God, when you worship the most high, the enemy has no chance. When you worship God, there's joy. Verse 12 even says, O Lord of hosts, happy is everyone who trusts in you. I guarantee you, if you trust in God, you're going to be happy. There are some dark times. There are some times when you go through things, but I guarantee you, your overall life is going to be happy. When you trust in God, you're going to have what more good than you have bad. There are seasons when things are rough. Yes. But those who trust in God, there's joy. You can, you know, <clears throat> even in J the book of James, it says, take joy in your tribulations because there's a time for God to work. Take joy in your tribulation. That's now that's a hard pill to swallow there because in your tribulations, even if you're close with God, that, that, that's a time for you to get even closer. That's a time for you to be more sensitive to God's word. That's a time for you to trust God even the more when things are getting rough. Worshiping God as, as a joy. Verse, ver, verse 10 says, For a day in thy course is better than a thousand elsewhere. Where? I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to live in the tents of wickedness. The King James Version says, than to, than to dwell, dwell in the tents of wickedness. So the joy of worship says, understand what a doorkeeper is. It's just that. You're a doorkeeper. You're standing guard on the door day in and day out. That is your job. That is your position. You're standing there to keep. You're standing there to make sure that that door is in order, that who's coming in is supposed to be coming in, to help those that are coming in. That's your job to do that. You're standing, you're on guard. I would rather do that in God's house than to dwell, than to live in wickedness. So if, you, if you're in wickedness, that means you're in relaxation. I mean, if you're dwelling, you're living, you're in relaxation. You're comfortable. You're chilling. You're not worried about who's coming in or out of the door. You're doing your thing. It's just relaxation. Chilling. Getting all it. Living it up. But it's in wickedness. And that's often too, that's too often the case. We want to dwell in wickedness. We want the things of this world. We want to suck them up and just constantly feed that into our soul rather 
rather than go through the things with God, rather than taking the joy in worshiping God, rather than getting that good from God, because dwelling in wickedness, a lot of that's immediate. And it comes when you want it. God delivers when we need it. That's the joy about it. He delivers when we need it. Wickedness, the enemy, he gives us the things when we want them, when we're not ready for them. God gives them to us when we need them. My grandma used to always say, quick money ain't good money. And that's become an issue in this world. So many people want to get money quick. You want to... And don't get me wrong. God wants us to be happy. God wants us to enjoy this life. But some people, you're so in a rush to get money. You get it quick and you lose your souls. Quickness, quickness, wickedness. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you, 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 if you're walking in God's path and God has put you in a position to get that. Yeah. But when you're walking outside of God's path and you just want money, 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 you're so driven by money, 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 money. See, money is not root to evil. Money is not the root to all evil. The love of it, the love of money is the root of all evil. That wickedness, that dwelling in that, the wanting for that so much, so much, so much, so much, where you lose your soul, where you lose your soul, you're profiting the world, but you're losing your soul. If you take joy in worshiping God, if you if you take joy in that, when you worship God, that makes God smile. When you make your father smile, he wants to do good for you. He wants you. He wants you to do good to show that he has this power that you are saying he has. Let me break it down for you. If you're worshiping God. And somebody says, why are you always worshiping God? You mean, I got this, I got that. You always worshiping this God and you just barely making it. You continue to worship God and God is going to use you to show that person or show those people his power. Next thing you know, you got this blessing. You got this house. You got this car. You got these things. You got this. You got that. You got this. You got that. You got everything. And what they had, what you thought was big is minus now. It's minimal now. What they thought was big is so minimal now. And you up here and they down there and they just stagnant right here and you steady climbing. God is using you. That worship, you taking joy in God's worship, he's going to use you to to show them his power. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. You have a great day.